Hello, this presentation is about the graphs of arithmetic sequences. Now, please consider the graph on the screen right now, that straight line graph. Let's have a look at uh, some of the points on that graph. So when n equals one, the first term is five. When n equals two, the second term, well, that's obviously eight. When n equals three, the value of that third term is 11. And what you have there are the terms of an arithmetic sequence. The first term, A, is five. The second term is eight and the third term is 11, but the common difference, eight minus five is three, and 11 minus eight is also three d is constant it's the common difference so that is the equation of an arithmetic sequence and just by analyzing the points the coordinates of the points on that line i can determine the value of a and the value of d for this particular arithmetic sequence Now, here I've got uh, the terms of this arithmetic sequence, and I, and I use this table to create that graph. Clearly, the value of A is 5 and the value of D is 3. What I also have is an expression that gives me the value of any term in this sequence. Now, that may be unfamiliar to some people. For most students starting to study this topic, the value of Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. But that's exactly what I've got here. You see, my value of A is 5. Still got N minus 1. But my, my uh, value of D is 3. And if I multiply that out, what I get is 3N minus 3. If I simplify that, I end up with 3N plus 5 minus 3, which is 2. So it may not look it, but uh, what you've got right there is uh, an equation that gives you the value of any term in this arithmetic sequence. And it's interesting because this looks an awful lot like this. You see, the value of D, you'll discover, will give you the gradient of that line so when you when you graph when you graph the terms of the arithmetic sequence you'll get a straight line and the gradient of that line will be your value of d now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a few changes now clearly uh, the line that you see has got a positive gradient well what happens if i make a few changes Say I change A, but uh, well, that's still got a positive gradient, that line, but now I'm gonna make this into a minus four. So I'm changing D, it's going from uh, what it was previously, three to minus four. 
And uh, now that D is negative, the gradient of that line has become negative. So when your value of D is negative and you graph the terms of your arithmetic sequence, you're going to get a straight line, but the line will have a negative gradient. And if you analyze the points on that line, look at the coordinates of the points on that line. When n equals 1, that first term is 6. When n equals 2, that second term is 2. But if you want to work out what d is, 2 minus 6, yeah, that's minus 4. Minus 4. And the gradient of that line is minus 4. So just by looking at the line itself, you can work out quite a lot about the arithmetic sequence. Thank you for viewing this presentation.